Hi there and welcome back to my computer. Today I'm playing around with this thing. Uh, I call it a dough wheel or a dough cutter. It contains some interesting shapes and we're going to work our way through it. And I think some parts of this is going to be basic beginner stuff and some things might interest you. So uh, I'm going to start doing the handle, then the rivet and then the blade. So that's the order I'm going to work it. So if you want to just skip forward to the blade if that's the only thing that interests you. Sometimes I do that myself. I'm going to create a new component. I'm doing, come on, uh, handle. I only made a save so I don't do that crash things. We're going to create a sketch on that plane. Circle, this is going to be the handle, so 10 millimeters of diameter. We're going to make a slot where the wheel or blade we go and do the center integral it's going to be 12. This side here now I have to plan out some measurements you can do as parametric if you want to but I'm doing this in my brain I'm going to use 1.5 millimeters it's going to be uh, the surface the wavy part and then I'm going to thicken that with 0.2 and I'm going to symmetric for so both sides and then I'm going to make a small gap now so let's 0.2 more like that and now we're going to extrude start with all the round parts we're going to do it two sides start with this side this one by it's going to be 100 and um, it's going to be eight feel free to play around with your own dimension you want we're going to create a chamfer on these two sides it's going to be free and this looks strange we'll switch over to that mode we're going to extrude this cutout now is going to be symmetric, it's going to be a round wheel. I do the whole length, it's going to be 30 millimeter, and then I need a small gap plus one millimeter round. And we need a second sketch on this plane. This is really not necessary, this is mostly a cosmetic thing. Let's see if we can find the profile. We're gonna do it all, and we're gonna do it symmetric. And let's have a look, turn off all the sketches. And we have ourselves a small handle with a hole for a rivet. Uh, I will now change the materials now, you can do it yourself if you want to. We're gonna create another component, new component, thank you. Let's call it rivet. Rivet, like the frog says. Uh, let's see this, we're gonna create a sketch on this plane. I'm going to do a slice so I can see a bit easier. First thing I'm going to do, now let's just create a line. One line, uh, second line, I like lines. Make sure that, okay, it made that like that, no problem. We are going to make these two horizontal. This is going to have a midpoint constraint to the center point. I don't want that projected line for some reason fusion sometimes projections do that we are going to make a small line from here we're going to search for the midpoint we're going to make that a construction line and then make it horizontal so we get linked together now we come to the dimension this is a good tip i'm starting with the center line i'm going to revolve later and then this line and i get this then i right click and choose Diamet diameter dimension. I want to do with 3.8 millimeters, slightly smaller than the hole. And now we're going to do some more dimension. This is going to be the same size as the handle, 10. I want this line to be 12. And we need some more small lines. We're going to do small line like that. And a small line like that. We are going to dimension this to be. Yeah, we do that One millimeter, and I'm lazy. Let's use equal, like that. And then we're gonna do some arcs for the rivet. So I'm gonna click on the line from here and out. The same thing down here, here, like that. And then I'm gonna coincident with the arc and that point, and the same down here. And now we have a blue sketch. Let's just check our sketches. It's fully constrained, thank you. We are gonna turn off the handle, do a, sorry, 
I'm going to do a revolve, revolve of that around that axle, 363. Thank you. And we're now we're going to turn off the sketch. You should see this nice. But I'm going to do a small fillet on this edge and this, I think, uh, 0.5 millimeters. Uh, oh, point, sorry, point 0.2, point 0.1. That's nice. Makes it a bit nicer to look at. So that's our handle and our rivet. So now let's create a new component. And this is, of course, is going to be our wheel. Did I spell that right? I don't care. We are going to create a sketch on this plane. And yeah, I know I have a center point here, so I can turn off these two now. And we shall do first a line straight down. Let's do that to construction line and give it a dimension. Uh, we cannot do think I'm thinking about here. Yeah? Um, this is the radius of the circle of the wheel, so it's going to be. I'm, my plan is to do it 30 millimeters divided by two, like that, and then we're going to do the segments lines for. I'm going to create one wave, and now fusion create an extra line which I don't like. From here out to here. I'm going to make these two symmetrical around this and then I'm going to make them all equal to this one so I don't need to think and now the last thing is the angle dimension I'm going to do like this my plan is to do 20 waves 20 curves so it's 360 divided by 20 like that we're going to need some arcs center point arc we of course pick the center point the first one you see from here to here no dimensions needed uh green a bit uh second arc is going to be center point arc from here to here and here and one more center point arc before i dimension it uh, like that we are going to mention the inner one first choose diameter it's a bit prettier and we look like that, it's going to be 4 millimeter. And we're going to mention this one. I want a diameter. And it's going to be, yeah, let's do it 18. Let's look pretty. Uh, the last thing is offset. And uh, make sure chain selection is off. I'm going to pick here, and it starts with 1 millimeter. I'm pleased with that, but I'm just going to flip it to the inside. And by that, we are done. We're going to finish sketch. Uh, now, we are in the solid, so let's keep on doing solid things. We are going to extrude this. We are now going to symmetric. The distance is not that important. Let's do it big enough so I can play around. Let's do it 5 millimeters. Oh, that's big. 3. 3 is enough. I was planning to do my blade 1.5 millimeters, so that's 6 millimeter high, so that's no problem. We now need to extrude one of the sides. Let's just do it two minutes out, that's enough. Now we're going to jump over to the sheet metal. We are using a sheet metal trick. To do this, here is convert to sheet metal. I'm just going to click here. And it just, uh, yeah, it detects the thickness. It gave me a, 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 a sheet metal rule for this. So I'm not going to change it. It says steel. Yeah, let's do that. I will not change. Under modify, unfold. Clicking on the flat part. This turns into band, click that, and it unfolds this for us. Thank you. Thank you, Fusion. Uh, let's see now. Let's change our menus a bit. Sketches. I'm going to turn off the sketch and go lose that, use that later. Now we're going to sketch on this now flat side we have made here. Sketch on that. And just to connect things together, I like to do this. I like to project things. I want to project this line. And I want that line done. Now I can turn off the body, so I don't have to see it anymore. Uh, now let's see. Uh, we are doing a rectangle. I'm doing it anywhere out here. Uh, I'm gonna make all of this construction geometry. I'm gonna dimension this side to 1.5 millimeter. That's the height of the 
so first blade I'm going to create and I might just as well if I'm playing out here I'm searching for the midpoint construction lines midpoint a line from here to down second line I'm going to find the midpoint here into the mid and then another line from the midpoint here out to the midpoint there very nice now comes the interesting part constraining midpoint this line to this line and this line to this line beautiful thank you and the sketch is constrained yeah and uh, now we're gonna do some center point arcs I'm gonna search for the center point here I'm gonna make an arc by mistake I'm making a construction which is wrong let's change that oh sorry X and uh, a second arc, center point arc again. I'm looking for the midpoint here and I'm doing arc. And now for the dimensioning, I'm going to mention this one. Uh, let's put it out here. Sorry, my mistake. Let's do that again. Dimension that. Right click, choose diameter is much better than. Uh, we can put it out here and then we just pick this dimension I made out here. And then I'm just going to make this two equal. Very easy. A line from this point to the arc, from here to the second arc, and from here to there. You can of course do some other sketch if you want to do have a different shape. I prefer this tangent setup. And I cannot guarantee that all will work because I have craft fusion a lot playing around with this thing. So, with that, we have made this going to be the shape of the surface of outer blade. Now, just to make sure I do a clean cut, I'm going to add some more area to my profile. You see, I closed in the profile. Uh, we're going to constrain horizontally. Boom, 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 and some dimensions just to make sure it stays connected. And there, by that we have a nice constraint sketch. We're gonna finish sketch. Turn on the body. Now extrude this and this, the whole profile. Distance is gonna be two objects and I'm just gonna click on the back side here and say okay. Thank you. We cannot turn off that sketch. We don't see the seed anymore. Now we switch over to the surface work area. We turn on the first sketch again and we're going to make a patch by this enclosed here and say OK, thank you for that. Oh no, sorry, <laughs> I forgot one thing. Before I do this, I'm going to do, uh, hit S and refold of course, stupid me. Now that looks correctly, very bad of me. Now I can do the patch, I like to do things inside outside correctly here now, so I won't get confused. By doing this, I can also collapse and do down the timeline all the things I did inside in the unfolder part. Uh, I did the patch here now. Now I'm going to turn off the sketch because I want to do a loft. And now when I do a loft, I want to do it connected to the surface, not to the sketch line. So we're going to create a surface loft. And now we need to click on, come on, out here. Very nice. It needs to choose all the lines and then this one. And as you can see, it gets connected, a profile one here. Do not change profile one to anything else because you choose tangent or anything, it just shoots it out the roof. But the inside here, why is my zoom so slow? I have to look at that later. Come on. Uh, and here you can see uh, it looks a bit, I like, think it looks a bit gnarly, it's up to you. But I want to change that profile to tangent as that gives him a nicer flow of it. You can see connected, it's a bit fatter. Uh, it's up to you, it's not that important. Uh, and oh, oh, thank you. And by doing that, I'm going back here. I'm going to remove this body. I like to clean up my sketches as I'm working around. Now we're going to do a circular pattern. A circular pattern, these two faces. The axle is the center axle, and of course we wanted to do 20 of these, so let's do that. And now we are 
doing a stitch all of them some paint details a bit red inside here i don't know why sometimes i pop up this and it doesn't help here because for some reason i don't know what fusion does it sometimes i don't care it still works i hope and we're done that now comes the interesting part thicken this is where fusion sometimes crashes the whole body and i want it to be done symmetric and the thickness I'm choosing is 0.2 and now we wait for Fusion to think and it worked thank you Fusion and we wait for it to update we are collapsing that and we are turning on all the parts so that's how I did it now this is not fully parametric in a way but the way I did the sketches just to move back a bit if you make sure to inside here when I, when I do the unfold part in this sketch if you connect things up you can go back in the first sketch and change the number of uh, parts you want or waves and things like that so now of course you can change the materials and do a pretty render or anything you want or you can make the joints and put it together and make it spin and things like that but I'm not good enough at that so I hope this was useful for you and you can play around with it. Have a good time and see you around.